Hello everyone, it's Adrian, and well, this video, I like doing a video like this like before the year ends, typically, and so this is more or less like a year in review, like kind of looking back on 2017, and then looking towards 2018 some goals. I always like, you know, I think it's a good idea to always go back and reflect and just look back in the past and see, you know, just you know, you know what I mean? Just to kind of go back and to see what happened during the year and just reflect. It's always a good idea. It's always a good idea to have goals. So I, this is probably going to be uploaded before Christmas, and then I'm probably going to do another video, and that's just going to. And I'm going to do another video, probably just showing all my key issues of comic books because I always like showing my key issues at the end of the when the year when the new year begins, just to see like, okay, this is how what I have this this much. This is what I have thus far. Let's see what I can add to that. Keep the key issue lot that I have toward in this year. So that's something that I like doing. But in terms of 2017, like it's it was an okay year. I mean, it it was okay. It was nothing special, but nothing horribly terrible. Like 2016 was a pretty good year. 2015 was a good year. This year was just okay. And I think like. And it's probably because, like, for half of the year, I've pretty much been doing, like, what I call a suicide schedule, essentially. Like, since June, I've been on my clinical rotations, five days out of the week, so that's eight hours. And then I work every weekend, 12-hour shifts. So I've pretty much been doing, like, over 60 hours a week for, like, about six months straight until I finally got a break. So, you would imagine why I would be, like, so, eh, this year has just been okay. Like, I've been so busy, but at the same token, I can't believe I'm half a year away from graduating my, my class. I can't believe it. Now, when I look at certain aspects of my life, like online presence, you know, hobbies and personal life stuff, you know, in terms of personal life stuff, you know what I mean? I, I kind of realize that, you know, I don't like, I learned the difference between what an acquaintance is and what a friend is. You know what I mean? I, I kind of learned that this year. I have a lot of acquaintances, but very few friends. Like, you know, very, like, few people that I would call friends. And I could maybe, like, on one hand, probably say, and I'm probably less than one hand, by the way, too. Because, you know, I kind of noticed that. And, if, you know, because I got to tell you, a lot of the people at school, you know, no, they're, they're, they're like casual acquaintances at best. And that, even putting it, even saying that is putting it kindly, it's being too kind. You know, just maybe, I would say there are two people from school that I would say are my, or I would consider a friend. But everyone else is just, eh. And consequently, I kind of become indifferent, to be perfectly honest. And I think the reason I came to this realization is, is like I think everyone kind of has like that moment, and when it when it comes to someone or something, they kind of have that moment where the light bulb kind of just goes off, and you're just like, oh, you know, and you kind of realize that it's not exactly what it seemed, or it's not, you know, and I kind of had, I had one of those moments where, you know, something like some event had like something happened, and I was just like, oh. I and mean, I just kind of had the moment like, oh, okay, I, 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 well, I guess I, I, you're, you're not really not friends, like you're really more acquaintances, if that. So I kind of realized that the hard way, and you know, it kind of sucks, but and now I'm, I'm kind of like, eh, I'm better off. And in addition to that, uh, like a, a heartbreak in August when I was like, I kind of, you know, broke up with someone. I broke up with her after like three months, and it was just like. <sighs> that's another story, but in terms of the personal life, other than those two things that were kind of unpleasant and that hard realization, things have been pretty good. I'm still in ridiculously good shape, my back's a little sore from squatting, but, you know, things have been good. Now, in terms of YouTube, like, this has literally been the shortest year that I've ever, like, the least amount of content that i put on YouTube, ever, 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 ever since I started doing it, which has been a while. It, it, you know, it, it's been the lightest amount, and part of the reason was A, like I just, I've been busy, and B, I've lost interest. I've lost a good chunk of interest in it, like now it's, you know, I, I'm kind of more like doing it when I'm bored, to be honest, and and sometimes I would get an inspiration to make something, but honestly, that, that lust just is not there, 
and hasn't been there for quite some time. I mean, I do get some enjoyment out of it, but not as much as I used to. And with my limited time, I'm kind of like, I kind of want to do things that give me the optimum amount of enjoyment, you know, because I don't get a ton of time these days. And not just that, but I also noticed when it came to YouTube, like just this a few weeks ago, a lot of people no longer make videos anymore. Like a lot of people that I used to love watching, you know, that I used to love watching, listening to, they just, they either are semi-retired like I am, meaning that they'll make a video like once every two or three months, or they're retired completely, like they no longer make videos whatsoever. And I was just looking through some of my subscriptions, I was like, oh my god, like a lot of these people that I used to like watching no longer, no longer make videos anymore. Like, and you know, just, they just don't. I was like, man, this is, this is kind of a bummer. Like, you know, I mean, Holy Batgirl, I don't know if anyone remembers that one. X, no longer making videos anymore. Scott, like, X, no longer making videos anymore. You know, it's just, you know, those are just to name a few examples. Other people that I haven't seen anything for quite a while. I mean, you know, like, uh, like Raider 1717, I really miss you know, hearing some of those opinions, like, that was great, Mercy Little Show, another one that I miss, you know, it's like, uh, Emski, too, 361's another one, they're like, man, I haven't seen anything from him in a while, either that or I just miss things, but it's just, you know, like, a lot of people are just gone, right? you know, and it's just kind of like, that also kind of really diluted the amount of fun that I have on here these days, you know, it really has impacted the amount of enjoyment that one gets out of this now. For at least for me, it's like that. What part of the fun we're making YouTube was watching those videos and having that exchange and commenting and you know having that interaction with those people. And now that's kind of gone because they're, they're you know they're no longer around. So it's kind of diluted the diluted the fun. So I kind of noticed that like a few weeks ago. I was like, oh wow, man, really? Eesh. And. In terms of cosplay, well, I made my Magneto helmet. I, well, I made the Magneto costume. If anyone's seen it, I mean, oh, lovely. Ah, ah. Like, I, I, I made it. This is what the, the new, brand new thing that I made this year was that whole Magneto cosplay. That was this past year, and I'm so happy that I made that. And in terms of comic collecting, this has been the lightest year of comic collecting. Like, I literally, it's unbelievable, like, I have not, like, the biggest haul that I had was C2E2, that's it. I don't think I've made another haul video besides that. I mean, like, I really haven't been focused on comic book collecting most of the year. Like, like I said, most of it was because I was busy, but a lot, but another chunk of it was that I just lost interest in it. Like, and that's what happens when with hobbies, like, it, it, it kind of waxes and wanes typically. And I kind of, it kind of waned this year, and I really didn't get that spark back to start reading and collecting comics again, like on a consistent basis. I really didn't start getting that spark back until like September, you know, and that's when I started getting, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm back. It, it pulled me back in, but for the most part, like most of the year, I just wasn't into it. It was just meh for me, and I kind of was more focused on my cosplay. I, I don't know, you can't see the helmet. I was more focused on like collecting some action figures, you know, like Marvel Legends stuff. You know, I was I was focused on stuff like that. You know, I, I also had like a girlfriend for a little bit. You know what I mean? I was kind of spending time with her and it was, you know, so I had other interests other than comic books. I mean, it's the, it was the lightest year. I, like, it's like since I started collecting, so. But I'm like, I fully plan on continuing to do something, but at the same time, like, like, I do need to get rid of stuff. But, with that being said, I would say, like, what's the best comic book that I picked up this past year? And I say best in terms of just, that's really good, but also, like, the, the best deal that I got. And I will say this, it's, here you go, you see it, Justice League of America. 29. The first appearance of the crime syndicate. Look at that glare. Look at that. Like this is by far the best thing that I picked up this past year. The best issue, the best comic all year that I got. And for the best price, I paid, I got this on eBay for $19. Free shipping. 
Like, this is one of those, I didn't think I was gonna win for $19 card when I won it. I was like, holy hell, I can't believe this. Like, sometimes on eBay, there's something I call a calculated risk. You take that, maybe the person doesn't have any feedback, he has one negative, or he's like a 95. It's like a calculated risk. You'll get the book cheaper, but you're taking a risk with the seller. Or sometimes you just put a bid and wish for the best, and sometimes it works out. This is what I put for the best, and it worked out. Like, I can't believe that. I mean, look at that. First Fruit of the Crime Syndicate. So, yeah. That was 2017 in a nutshell. 2018. What are my goals? Well, in terms of my personal life, I really am kind of trying to... I want to connect with... I want to reconnect with some old, some old, some other people that I haven't talked to in a while. Like, there's one friend that I haven't seen in, God, I don't know how long, and I saw him at C2E2, and it was just like... Nothing changed. Like, bam, we were able to hit her off and talk like nothing, no time had passed. So I can maybe, you know, maybe reach out and connect with that person again, you know. <clears throat> but, you know, I kind of would like to do that and, you know, just, just like, a, you know, reconnect with some people even on YouTube land and online. Uh, you know, in terms of cosplay, like, I really want to do my... Deadpool Wonder Woman cosplay. Like, I, that's one of the ones that I kind of really wanted to get done. So that's going to be the goal for next year in terms of cosplay, getting my Wonder Woman Deadpool mashup done. And in terms of YouTube, there is no plan for YouTube. There hasn't been a plan since, since like, God, since I, like last November. There hasn't been a plan for like a good year. Like I make videos when, I'll make videos when I feel there's something I want to talk about, when I feel inspired to make a video. You know, that's when I'll do it. I don't know when that is going to happen, but it'll happen. You'll see stuff, not when I feel that itch again. When I start feeling an itch to do something and make a video. So, and in terms of comic collecting, what are my goals for that? Well, I mean, I, I want to get more key issues, obviously. I mean, I have like a list of certain ones that I want. Uh, I say this every effing year, Uncanny X-Men, the Chris Claremont run. I need to get that done. like I want to get that done it's probably not gonna happen I say that every year but I'm only four issues away four issues away man it's like I need X 95 94 100 and giant sight that and BAM I am freaking done with that one I want to get done with my new Teen Titans volume 1 like I'm that's another one where I'm kind of close I don't I can't remember I used to have a list of what I needed and it's I lost it but I know it's not very much and I also want to get uh, Denny O'Neill when Denny O'Neill was kind of the editor of Wonder Woman that run when he took away Wonder Woman's power and she was powerless why is my computer acting up but when she was powerless and you know it was the modern day Wonder Woman and he stripped her of her power so that's another thing that I want to want to get done and also to get more in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 1 that's the big one that I want to get. You know, that's, I, I, can't, I don't know, I got the itch to start collecting that. I don't know why it is. And other than that, I also do want to, like, downsize my collection. Because I know there are certain books I'm just like, I'm probably never going to read these again. Like, I'm never going to read these. I'm never going to open these. You know, I'm never, I'm never, I, I, I don't really, I'm kind of mad on them. So there's no point in having them. So I'm probably going to end up downsizing my collection. And, and this is probably, this might range from old books to like newer books that are, that are off the shelf. Like for the newer books, I'm probably going to just donate them to the school. My cousin's a teacher. But that's also a go. And that's it, folks. That's the 2017 in review. But, but before I go, I mean, just one thing. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> let's, let's try this one more time. For some reason I still don't have a shirt. Ha! Um, eh, well, there's a tree, there's snow. Like, just Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Merry, you know, New Year and be safe and have a good New Year and a good Holidays. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>